Hey everyone, I'm Raymond Francis and I want to talk about air pollution because air pollution is the single largest environmental health risk yet most people are unaware of this and they do little to protect themselves. You know, according to the World Health Organization, this is one of the biggest health problems on the planet. And few risks have a greater impact on global health today than air pollution. So, you know, we have identified this, this problem and according to the World Health Organization, there's no threshold that's been identified in which no damage to your health is observed. In other words, even a little bit of air pollution is bad for you. This is why air filters have become a necessity in homes and workplaces, particularly in urban environments. Industrial waste, power generation, car and truck emissions, ozone, home heating, building materials, home furnishings, household cleaning products, synthetic fibers in your clothes and, and the carpets and upholstery, uh, pesticides, even your computer, all contribute to poor air quality. Indoor air is usually the most polluted of all. So, usually sight unseen and forgotten, air pollution plays a big role in your health. Now we think about the gases in the air such as ozone and sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide but you know what? The particles in the air can be just as important as the gases and the particles come in different sizes and shapes and from different sources and can be made of hundreds of different chemicals and these very fine microscopic particles can be particularly damaging because they can be inhaled deep into the lungs and even get into your bloodstream. So microscopic, you can't see them, they get into the lungs deep down, you can't get rid of them. As our understanding of the risks of air pollution continue to increase, the long-term effects are just being discovered. And it's now obvious that the links between air pollution and disease are far greater than previously thought. For example, air pollution has been linked to high blood pressure, to a decrease in cognitive skills, and new discoveries, poor air quality has been linked to, to asthma, uh, developmental delays in children, lowered immunity, stroke, heart disease, respiratory diseases, lung cancer. This is all air pollution, particles in the air. The average American spends only about 2% of their time outdoors. Now that's really amazing, 2% of your time outdoors. This means that indoor air quality is far more important to your long-term health. Yet the levels of indoor pollution are commonly two to five times higher than they are outside, and for some indoor pollutants, a hundred times as much as what's outside. So what about using air filters? Well, they've done studies. Using air filters have been found to reduce the amount of inflammatory chemicals like C-reactive protein in the blood. Now this alone will have a big impact on overall health because inflammation is a major cause of disease. So if you decrease inflammation, you decrease disease and air filters will do that. And these uh, inflammatory chemicals are why air pollution will cause heart disease, for example. A heart disease is caused by inflammation. So air pollution causes inflammation and causes heart disease. Now, Opening the windows in your home for even 15 minutes a day will improve air quality. Read any of my books to find out other ways to improve your air quality. Importantly, get yourself a high quality air filter for your home and if possible for your workplace too. Uh, this is something that I do myself and I highly recommend it to you, uh, but make sure it's a high quality filter because there's a lot of junk filters out there. Hey, thanks very much for listening. Have a great day.